In this video, I'm going to share a hack that's going to give you spell check in the all new Adobe Captivate. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make videos about e-learning, specifically the authoring software Adobe Captivate. If you like what I'm doing here today, by all means, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with all of your e-learning colleagues. I've seen a lot of posts on the forum about spell check in Adobe Captivate 12, and, you know, there isn't any. <laughs> and, uh, of course, you know, there's various reactions to that. Myself, I'm a little less inclined to worry about that. I know it's coming. Um, I do know that they're going to want to just implement something a little bit more than just like the old style spell check. Perhaps something with, uh, you know, the ability to take advantage of some AI technology. But in the meantime, if you're interested, I do have a hack that will allow you to have some level of spell check and grammar check in Adobe Captivate. Let me show you. Okay, I purposely asked ChatGPT to write a little paragraph for me with lots of grammar and spelling mistakes, you know, and like right away I can see, well, at the beginning of a paragraph, obviously we should have a capital letter. Yesterday is spelled incorrectly. This is the wrong form of the word to, going to the store. Clearly groceries is spelled wrong, and I'm sure I could find many, many more. It's a, almost an extreme example. And so what I've learned, and I did this completely by accident, normally I rely on Grammarly. And to be completely clear, this is not a sponsored video by Grammarly. Although, you know, Grammarly, if, if you're listening, I would certainly consider future work together because I am a big fan of your service and I use it quite a bit. Normally what I do is I install the Grammarly for Chrome extension and that's all I've ever done and it's nice because if I'm working on a web application like let's say I'm, I'm using my text-to-speech voice tool that is a web-based application or any number of other things like filling out a description of a YouTube video it catches it right within Chrome and it's perfect and you know without thinking I installed Grammarly for Windows I'd not done this before so let's do that right now I really wasn't paying attention to the process so this will be a new experience for me as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll open that. Okay, so I'm signing in to my Grammarly account, which is perfect. This view kind of came up as well. So it's, it's now up and running and it's just informing me a little bit about how it works. And let's go ahead and minimize this and see what happens here. So there's the Grammarly widget running while I'm using Adobe Captivate. Now, if you are subscribed to the full version of Grammarly, it'll make recommendations for you. Like for example, if I click the green light bulb icon, you know, I can do various things. Like for example, I could just improve this and click on that and it will make recommendations on not only spelling and grammar, but how to maybe write this paragraph in the first place. But, you know, certainly going in and selecting Grammarly and one by one, I can select each sentence and correct for those spelling mistakes in one shot. I found a couple of instances where I had to manually make those corrections, but it seems that it's working quite well within Adobe Captivate. If you're copying and pasting from a storyboard, let's say you're, you're a developer working with alongside a designer and they're not very good at writing, we can make sure that a lot of these things will happen for you as well. Now, one of the things too that's quite helpful, let's grab this last sentence as an example. And if we go into the slide and generate text to speech and I paste it in here, I will see, you know, the corrections that are available and I can use this version. I think this is where I may have had problems where I had to, yeah, it, it helps me certainly to identify where my mistakes are, but because of the nature of closed captioning, I had to manually make these changes. So it's a hack. It's not a full solution. I think we're still going to be waiting for Adobe to come out with a good spelling and grammar capability. 
And we can all maybe recommend that they use something that's AI driven as well. My suggestion, and this is a great workaround for right now, but my suggestion is if we all go into the help system and we go into provide feedback, log in with our Adobe user voice account, which probably is your Adobe ID, and suggest this as a great alternative to just a standard spell check. I think it would be great if we had an AI capability that would actually improve our writing, improve our narration and things like that. And it would work across all the features in Adobe Captivate. And that way we'll not only end up with, I think a better solution for our own authoring needs, but maybe a better solution for all of our students as well. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.